Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I would like to welcome each and every one of us to um, this special service, um, tagged Evening of Hymns. We bless God for the privilege and the opportunity that we have received at this time to be able to hold this event. Um, this is the maiden edition of it. It's happening for the first time in our region, OCK. And every one of you right here seated is making history today because you, you're here to witness um, this very great um, evening of hymns. And we thank God for your lives and we want to say a very big welcome um, to you. And we pray that the Lord will bless you as you have come in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, also, we want to thank our leaders in the region for... Um, for allowing this event to take place and also for their presence. Uh, we want to start from the regional superintendent, um, Pastor Simon Oladokun, who is unavoidably absent, but to whom um, our daddy, Pastor Ashashaw, is standing proxy. Thank you very much, sir, for being here. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, our daddy, Tukasi, is here. We bless God for your life. Thank you so very much, sir. He's a great lover of hymns. We can all attest to that. God bless you, sir, for being here. Uh, Daddy Ajayi, Pastor Ajala, thank you very much. Uh, we want to say that um, this evening, we're singing hymn just the way it should be sung. Um, hymn singing is, um, is part of our tradition and heritage in Christ Apostolic Church. And for those of us who have been here this far, and uh, we would realize that our services are not complete without the singing of hymns, right? Um, in those days, while we were growing up, every service would have at least six hymns being sung. You would have the processional hymn, you would have the opening hymn, you would have the hymn before the announcements, you would have the hymn before the sermon, you would have the closing hymn, and you have the processional hymn. At some point in time, they thought those hymns were too much. They were reduced to three or two. And now, in, our, in some of our churches in this part of the world, we don't even sing hymns at all any longer. Um, so this evening, we're encouraging us. It is one of the reasons why we've set up um, this kind of event to reinvigorate and to um, redirect our part once again to him singing. And according to the admonition of our Apostle Paul in the book of Colossians chapter 3, verse 16, that says, Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your heart. So we will be appreciating God's tonight in hymns and in psalms. And I pray that you sing as you sing along with us, that the Lord will bless you so mightily in the mighty name of Jesus. For those of you watching us from every part of the world on social media, um, I can assure, uh, assure you that you will be as blessed as those of us that are right here at Surrey Docks in London, though um, the blessings for being physically present will be added to, it's going to be an add-on to those who have taken time to come this evening. I pray that the Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. And as we proceed in the program, I would like to call our daddy, um, Pastor Tukasi, to read um, some of the stories behind the hymns we'll be doing this evening. God bless you, sir. <laughs> 